Can I ask you a question? When was the last time that you actually had a close look at your makeup brushes? Now I'm excusing any beauty junkies or makeup connoisseurs because you probably know, but if you're one of those people who kind of inherited um, a set of beautiful brushes or you've been given some as a present but you've never actually looked at them, you just looked at the stem of the brush that said eyeshadow and therefore use that to apply your eyeshadow, powder or blusher. Well, go into your makeup bag and take a look. I want you to have a look at, firstly, your eyeshadow brushes. If you want to create a really lovely socket or just to create a lovely open effect eye, you need to use a tapered brush. Now, these brushes are rather beautiful. Um, they've come to me uh, recently, which is what I thought would be nice because they look all clean. I've had a lot of my brushes probably for over 20 years and you know, they're not particularly camera ready, although clean. Um, these are by Zoeva and they're called Screen Queen. Anyway, I digress. These brushes are, like I said, tapered. Now, if you don't sure what I mean, is that the bristles in the centre part of the brush are longer and then they gradually go back shorter, shorter, shorter. So if you're applying colour right into the centre here of your socket to push your socket back and make your eyes look bigger, it does it for you. Whereas if you apply the colour from the flat side of the brush, you get a much heavier finish. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to use this really cute palette here by Tarte. Don't quit your daydream. Um, I like this palette because it's got a couple of nudes, matte nudes that I like. And if you're pushing your socket back to make your eyes look wide, then you definitely want to use a matte. So here we go. I'm going to use Love. It's got uh, many E's on the end. And I'm going to use the flat side of the brush here, as you would imagine that you would do. And I'm trying to do this cat candidly now. I need to go right, I need to put in a socket line. Oh, now that's spread too high. Does that read enough? No, let's go a little bit darker, you might think. And I'm going to spread that round. Very soft, these colours, they build up gradually. Can you see what's happening? It's spreading. And I find this so often when I'm watching ladies put on their makeup, and I'm like, oh, you've just got a little bit too far. Now you've just kind of made a little bit of a, a smudge over your eye. It's not actually shaping your eye. And remember, makeup artistry is all about creating an illusion. So we want to be really careful with how we're applying the products to our face. So. Very roughly, you kind of get the effect, right? It just looks a bit like eyeshadow, which in my opinion, um, modern day makeup on someone sort of in their 40s looks much better when it's softer, chicer, elegant. Um, it's not overpowering. You don't look at someone and go, oh, your makeup looks great. You just think you look fabulous. That's what I like anyway. So now for purposes of showing you what I mean, let's go in with one of the tapered brushes. So. We'll go for this one. This is called Soft Definer. So I'm going to use the tip of this um, in the same colour, love. I'm going to use the tip and I'm going to put my chin back like this because if I look into the mirror like that, guess what happens? I get all hoodie again. So I need to actually lift my chin to see where that natural shadow is. And then I use the point right in the centre and I try and reinforce what was there a few years ago. Now all I've got is a little bit of base and powder on my eyes, first of all. So that's a nice soft colour. I'll go in with the colour Work, W-E-R-K, and push it in, head back, and I'm applying this shadow because I'm making sense of what I'm doing. I'm seeing what I'm doing. I'm trying to create that depth effect. I'm trying to make my socket look deeper and more defined. I'm going to build up slowly. So it's working that colour in. You can see that makes my eye look a lot tighter. Now then a nice clean brush. This actually this is called Luxe Crease, so perfect for the crease. A clean, soft, fluffy brush. It needs to be nice and fluffy. If it's not fluffy, then it just really won't push the pigment lightly um, into the rest of the powder of your eyeshadow. It will just kind of maybe create like a little bit of a hole, you know, when you get that hole and you can't do anything to get rid of it. Well, there's no point doing anything on that side because 
I'm sure that you can see the difference. So it's those little things, girls, it's those little things like just using a tapered eyeshadow brush can really assist you in putting the right colours in the right place. I hope that's helped. The last few videos have been much longer, so I thought I'd come back with a few punchy ones. If you'd like me to do a series of videos talking about different brushes and which brushes work for different parts of your face, then please let me know. In the meantime, have a lovely weekend, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Chat soon.